socially speaking, being a victim is rather lucrative indeed. What you're about to see is a person who is very competitive for victimhood. If you have run out of things to be victimized by, then just invent some. Tracy Daniels here. Hello, Tracy. Have you ever said to someone, you are so articulate? Yeah, especially as articulacy is becoming a very rare trait these days. It's a compliment. Or, how do you get your hair to do that curl thing? If I ever decide to grow my hair back and I wanted to do that curl thing, and if you happen to have curly hair, then yeah, I may ask you how it's possible to do that curl thing. Mm, problem? Well, if you have, you've committed a racial microaggression. What? The last time I checked, articulacy wasn't exclusive to any one particular race. And anyone can have curly hair. It's not even a racial issue. And these are harmful, hurtful statements against people of color. How? Maybe it's just people like you who perceive them to be that way. You may not even realize how harmful these statements are, so you definitely want to check why you're making these statements in the first place. So innocuous questions and statements are now harmful. And so a lot of people are guilty of committing racial microaggressions, and it really is time for it to stop. And so a lot of people are just spineless pussies, and it really needs to stop. Why do you feel the need to categorize every single statement that you don't like as a microaggression? I suspect it has nothing to do with the concept of microaggressions and has everything to do with wanting to police other people's speech, even right down to the most innocuous question or statement. I sincerely suggest you do something more constructive with your time, like maybe rearrange your sock drawer. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>